okay. Take a little time to well, get you know, uh, warmed up. Sometimes it's hey, hey Joel. Hey. Well, hold on. <clears throat> hey, Keith. What time uh, is it? I, 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 hey, Joel, <laughs> guess what so time it is? Beside myself. What time is it, Keith? It's time once again for Smack and Jack Live here Yay. from the Somerset Studios in lovely Southern Chester County. Actually, it's yeah. not Southern Chester County. It's Southern, Southeastern Pennsylvania, Chester County. I think we're probably East Chester County. Can you get your geography right? Uh, I'll work on that for next yeah. week. Like, yes. read a map. Pull out a paper uh, map. Wait, we, we got, got a good show today? for yeah. you today. What's and it's, uh, it's not snowing or raining, but it did snow yesterday all day long. And we got, I think, about a whole inch. Yeah. Kind of funny. Snowed all yeah, day. Just enough to make things a little bit sloppy. Yeah. Drove by an accident sloppy. on the way over. Yeah. Down, down yeah, Route 1. And it's cold. Okay. It's about, uh, we'll talk about that later, but yeah. it's cold. Uh, okay, we got our prologue today. We've got uh, some from our four percent group. Uh, something about auto responders. Joe, I'll yep. tell you about that. We got jokes. We got trivia. We got Super Bowl memories. Remember, remember. <laughs> uh, facts of the day, and we got trivia answers, and we got the ever popular birthday minute. So grab your coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's going to be great. We'll be right back. And here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacky Jack Live with your co hosts Keith and Joel Slenderman. I just love the intro. I just <laughs> love it. It's you know. It is cool. Uh, it is sec cool. Second to the uh, Seinfeld, the uh, the music. It, this is this is probably my favorite. Uh, nice. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. glad we're guess, way up there. Uh, yeah, way way um, up there. So what's going on, Joel? What, well, what are we doing um, today? Somebody hey, chime in. I'm I don't sorry. know why. I'm sorry. To keep. I don't know why I feel like we've done this before. What's that? This. A show. Everything. It just seems like I've done this before. Like every time I turn around, it's like it's I'm repeating myself. It's almost like it's almost like it's Groundhog's Day or something. I feel a little bit like Bill Murray. What is today? I don't know. It's Saturday. What is today? Is Groundhog's oh, Day? That's Man. why. No wonder why I felt uh, like we've been doing things. Oh, shut God. up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're not. Uh, you're, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to go with that one. Yeah. So okay. we got a little prologue music. Yeah, what we, we got going on today, Keith? Okay. It is Groundhog's yeah, Day. Is. Happy Groundhog's Day. Uh, we have absolutely nothing more to say about Groundhog. So, but let us know if you think it's going to be what six weeks. Uh, I didn't watch this morning. Yeah. But... So chime in. Somebody let us know. Are we going to have six more weeks of winter, or, or is, is it, it going to be an early spring? Yeah. I didn't see anything about Punxsutawney Phil this morning, so I don't know if he saw a shadow or not. But uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. And I'm well, I'm hoping for an early spring because I've had plenty of cold. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the last two days, enough for the yes, winter, right? Yes, we're like yeah. Michigan here. All right, what else we got going on? Okay, uh, so uh, what, uh, the weeks and weather. Let's, uh, this week's weather. Is that what we're going on? To? Yeah, we're going to go on a little bit of weeks, this week's weather. And uh, let's see, we have uh, Super Bowl oh, questions. Right. Super Hopefully Bowl questions, there are yes. uh, poll questions at the bottom of our, or somewhere in our news feed. Or our, or our feed here. We have never done Super Bowl questions before. So let me see if I can find that there. Um, are there any poll questions? Somebody let us know. Chime in on the poll questions. The first time I've ever tried it. Um, I don't know where they are. Can anybody hear us? I'm a little concerned that, because um, I can't hear us on our phone here. So let me know if you can hear yeah, So far we got two people watching, you guys. Uh, Richard, us. Joe, yeah. yeah. Can you hear us? I Just hope you can hear us. Um, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure everybody watches YouTube now and then. Uh, I got YouTube well, here's Prime the thing. or something. No commercials at all. Yeah, here's the thing. We're, we're going to start switching over to doing our lives on YouTube. At least give it a, a, a try. Okay. Um, so I'll put the link at the bottom of our uh, feed here uh, once we're done today. Okay. Uh, if you can just subscribe to our YouTube channel, because uh, we're going to start doing some YouTube lives, lives instead of Facebook. Okay. Uh, just... You know, just kind of trying some see, see different things. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. okay. All right. So uh, good. then we're going to get into autoresponder. So why don't we talk about autoresponder or what that means? Yes. Yeah, let's see. Okay. What shall we do that? Let's see. Uh, we got to stop our music there. Okay. So 
Oh, that's right. This week's weather. My fault. This week's weather. Let's go to uh, music here. Where is the snow music? Uh, snow. Sorry, uh, folks, this, man. We were uh, like, where the heck's the prologue? We we're maybe it's this one here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, where does it go? That is nice. Listen to that music. Okay, so it has been cold this week, right, folks? Let's take a look at. Oh, look, we have. Um... Uh, what's going on today? <laughs> it's like you're in that, those bathrooms in the uh, rest stops. Okay, so you can okay, hear us, yeah, Richard, right, is that right. what you're saying? Thanks, All right, guys. so I, yep. I'm a little concerned. I don't know why my phone's not picking up our volume here. So, okay, so let's take a look at uh, this week's weather. It's been cold, cold, cold. Let me get How out of this. How cold week. is it, It's Joel? been really cold. All right, so this was the uh, the weather for uh, just the other day. Uh, way in the teens. This is actually warmer than it was earlier in the week. <laughs> okay. All right, and then I had a snapshot of our Goodness, phone. I mean, even... Uh, Three degrees in media wow. on uh, Thursday. So tell us how cold it got in your neck of the woods there. Yeah, um, Thursday here at 730 was one degree. Crazy. Westchester. Crazy. Is that one degree? You know, I'm glad we don't live out in Minnesota or Wisconsin God because uh, it was like the actual temperature was minus 16 or something. Uh, well, in Chicago, it's had, it got part of that vortex thing in there. And yeah. they're like... Ah, oh, unbelievable. unbelievable how cold it is out there. Okay, and of course today it's 10 degrees. It was 10 degrees this morning before I came over here. Uh, but the cool thing is, if you look over here on uh, Friday, uh, no, where are we? Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, even tomorrow, 44, yeah. 48, six, 60 degrees almost yep. on Tuesday. So that's going to feel like uh, mid summer. It's, it's supposed to be up into the 30. You don't have today. Mm -hmm. I thought it was supposed to be up into the 30. Yeah, 35. 35 today. today. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it's um, going to feel like summer. So hang in there, folks. <clears throat> Stay uh, bundled up, though, because that's when I always get sick. You know, um, the temperature fluctuates, gets a little warm. You don't think you just run out to get the mail, boom, next thing you know, yeah. you got something going on. So stay bundled up anyway. Yeah, yeah, and be careful still driving today. As I said, coming over here today, I saw an accident on Route 1. Um, even though oh, there's a whole lot of salt out and everything, yep. I don't know how this accident happened, but uh, fortunately, I don't think anybody was hurt. But just And salt only works down to a certain uh, temperature. Right. If you notice yeah. uh, out on my sidewalk here, there's salt and about a quarter inch of melt around it and the rest of it's so so if i do a uh, slip and fall right outside the door here uh what's his name the guy on tv uh <laughs> he'll get you what you <laughs> that's right i don't know where he's gonna get it from all but... of a sudden i'm a millionaire because yeah. i fell on your uh your front <laughs> right. step out there yeah <clears throat> okay so let's move on <coughs> all right yeah, so we on. did the weather be careful the weather okay so let's talk a little bit about auto responders um and how we have our uh did i miss something again super bowl poll wow, questions. super bowl poll question well yeah I already talked about that. Oh, so did? try to find a poll question down there. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's talk about autoresponders. Yes. Let's fade out the music here um, so I can have uh, my concentration Yes. Back. Okay. So just in case you're not sure what an autoresponder is, whenever you sign up on a website, you put your name in, mm -hmm. uh, your email address, you hit submit, and then boom, 30 seconds later, you get an email. Right. That's called an autoresponder. Okay. So that's not somebody sitting there waiting till you put your email in and then replying to you right away. That, right. <laughs> those are emails that are already set to go out way before you opt in, right? Okay. So uh, we have one of them, of course, at smackandjack.com. Um, so let me t let me just show you kind of what I've been working on here as far as the autoresponder. So uh, ours looks like this. Okay. So on smackandjack.com, it's still a work in progress, but this is what ours looks like. You put in your first name, put in your email address, okay, and then subscribe here, okay, and then supposedly you get an email from me. Okay. Okay, well, I'm still working on that email. Um, so before I get to that, actually, let, oh, yeah, let me, let me show you this. <clears throat> this is what our letter looks like. So as soon as you put your, your name in, you get this letter from me. Now, I will say it's taken me this entire past week to write this letter. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've done this before, but I really wanted this to be more of you and me mm -hmm. and smackandjack.com and not about the 4% group, not about, um, you know, making money online, not right. this, that, and everything. I just mm -hmm. wanted to kind of introduce us and what we do. Okay. Um, so, so this is what I have so far. I might even take out some of this down here about the success challenge. And again, the challenge is what the course that I'm going through, and it's just been taking a while for me to get through that mm -hmm. okay because every step you have to really do some work um, so this is my first letter to go out now after that I can set up so that on day five after you um, 
sign in, another letter goes out, and at day 10, another letter goes out. So you can fill it up, you can fill it up like months mm -hmm. of emails, but you have to write all those emails. Right. <laughs> okay, you have to write them yes. before they actually go out. And I, again, I've done that before, uh, but again, I'm just taking more time to make these emails more of us. Okay. And, and less pitchy. Um, I don't want to try to sell people on things. Um, actually, I just want them to get to know us. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's, that's what uh, an autoresponder is. Now, the reason why I have these emails up here that you probably just saw is that over here, where did I put them? Oh, it's here. Um, over here, um, these are some emails that have popped up onto my subscriber list, even though I have not um, marketed our website at all. Okay, so as I was telling you, these people signed up somehow to our web in our web page, uh, but as you can see, they didn't put any first names. So some sort of bot or spam or something signed these people. It's up. already gotten their yeah. okay, yeah. Or hmm. it's because you see over here they sign up through the API. Now I have something in there called a um, uh, pixel to grab people's information even if they don't sign up. And what that is, if, if, if you visited a website uh, like CarMax, mm -hmm. if you check out CarMax, just brew, you know, prow, uh, peruse a couple of cars, and then you go back to Facebook, all of a sudden you see all these CarMax commercials, yes. right? Yep. Okay, yep. exact same thing. I did that thing. last week. So, um, so I'm wondering if that's how I got these emails. I'm wondering if my pixel is just grabbing people's email address that is that they can catch through the API, and that's a, okay. like a computer term for your address, your okay. API address. Okay. Um, and the reason why I know some of these are actually real is because some of these people have unsubscribed. Now this one here is me, the Garnet Valley one, but these other people mm -hmm. have unsubscribed, which means that it's not an it's you know it's not a robot. Right. It's not an internet robot. Right. Uh, but because they won't unsubscribe. Right. These people are actual people. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that's hmm. something I kind of need to figure out. I mean, I like the idea that's grabbing everybody's email addresses, right. but I need to make sure I, I need to understand how that's happening. Yeah, and you don't know where they, they could be anywhere on the planet, really. Right? Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. So anybody, yeah, there was somebody from UK there, yo dot UK. Okay. So somebody just kind of touched on our email address, yeah. and and there it was. So that's what. Uh, that's what we're working on. Uh, so an autoresponder automatically sends out messages. Uh, you, of course, you need your landing page before that to catch the email address. Mm -hmm. So you have your, your landing page, your autoresponder, and then your, your click magic. And that tracks your clicks to find out what, uh, what advertising is actually working. Okay. Okay. So we, we've gone over a lot of that in past shows. But I just kind of wanted to show you that little bit of an update. Yeah. Of what we're doing. Okay. Uh, so I, I haven't forgotten about the website, folks. It just takes a lot of time to get these things set up. And that's why they cost so much. Because in the business yeah. here, I've, I've looked at, uh, talked to people that will build a web page for you. And they're very, very expensive. And they have a monthly yeah. fee as well as that. And that's why they Thousands are Thousands of dollars. Yes. Thousands of yep. dollars. And but just so you know, I got that whole website for 500 bucks. Yeah. That's uh, so if you're interested yes. in that, just let me know. I'll send you the link for that. Okay. Um, okay. That's good. good that good. was a lot of okay, information. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, that's not what I wanted. A little bit of applause there. Yeah, so this little soundboard we got here, folks, is, uh, it's really nice, but we... Well, I need I, it, the learning curve on it. i got to tell you, it's a little steep. <laughs> steep curve? Steep? Well, whatever. I'll get, I'll get it sorted out eventually. All right. Anyway. Time hey, for guess some what? Jokes. I think it's time for some jokes. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Uncle Brad, once again for our jokes. And uh... all right, so get your laughing ears on. Yeah, because these are going to be funny. Yeah, and and do not. Whoa! Oh, I was... almost guarantee. Ah, okay. uh, usually when there's an accident, they stop in and just to say hi. They're so interested in our show. <laughs> that's right. They got to like, cut over the record. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's Mike and Jack, guys. We ready for? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Jokes. Okay. <laughs> So do not take a sip of coffee before I read No, you're going to all over the place. Yeah, okay. Why are most baseball games played at night? Why? Because bats sleep during the day. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. How can you tell the difference between a judge and a skating rink? How? One is the bringer of justice. The other is just ice. Just those, oh, those. oh, oh, yeah, oh, Yeah, I know. Oh, when I was practicing oh, that one, oh, yeah. 
that. When I was practicing that one, I was like, how am I going to deliver that? Because I couldn't say just dice. Right. One is bringing her just dice. That is tough. The other is, yeah. All right. Anyway, All right. Well, so, we can check that. You can just probably just write, don't do again. Delete. Yeah. All right. Another one. What position does a pig play in football? What? Swinebacker. <laughs> okay, we bring it back. All right. All right. So now this is a little story here. Okay. So the salesperson says, try this new bandage. You can swim, water ski, snorkel, or scuba dive with it on. And the customer says, well, that's great. I couldn't do any of those things before I hurt myself. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to. <laughs> so, how did you like those jokes? Man? Uh I thought they were very good. Yeah. Did, really anybody like those yeah. jokes, or are they just really bad? Yeah, well, let's go. You know, they're not great all the time, but they are jokes. You can't deny that they are jokes. Yeah. All right, let's. And get the ones up. that you can use. Yes. Feel free yeah, to. You, sure, you can use them. Feel you're free not, to copy uh, from us, copying from the right. Book. <laughs> we didn't write them, so we don't care if you use them. Okay, shall okay, we get on uh, to our, let's go, uh, some trivia? Let's trivia? see what's going on. All right, on let's on put trivia. a little trivia okay. music on. There we go. All right, so Keith's going to read some trivia. And uh, let's see where that brings us to here. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to get to that. Okay, so trivia, is this where we write in our answers? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay, okay so if you gonna, have your we're answer. ask the questions. Go ahead and type it in. Uh, type them in. Uh, we'll do some other stuff. We'll come back at the answers and... Uh, yeah. It'll, it'll so you can good, put yeah. your uh, your answers into one response, or you can give a response for each answer right. if you like. Yes. Okay. All right. So here you go. Thinking caps on. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get into the uh, the proper frame here. All right. So trivia. Is that this one here? No, not that one. Where's our trivia? We were just looking at it. All right. Sorry, folks. Give me a second here. Talk about a, a show not going uh, uh, exactly uh, boy, as tell you what. smooth as you know. As we, we got our hoping. audience here, and uh, somehow I closed out that uh, page. All right, here we go. Hopefully, there's the All same right. trivia yes. questions that you practice <laughs> I reading. Think so. The first one is anyway. <laughs> All right, go uh, ahead. Which 1997 action thriller, star, uh, action thriller film stars Nick, Nicolas Cage, John Cusack? Let me start all over again. Yeah, would you please? Which 1997 action thriller film stars Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, and John Malkovich? John Malkovich. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I, 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 I can't think thriller of it. Film. Yeah. Mm. Uh, according, oh, oh, I have an idea of that. I'm okay. sorry. According to Norse mythology, who was the god of thunder? Okay. And I don't know why I can't think of that, but anyway. anyway. <clears throat> Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona meet at what U.S. landmark? Hmm. Landmark? It's not a state. It's a landmark. Okay. All okay, right. we'll see. <clears throat> Who plays the role of Frank Reynolds in the comedy series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? And I know that one. My favorite show. My absolute favorite show. Okay. Uh, I'll trust you on that show. one. Yep. All right. Uh, who was the first, first cartoon character to get his own star on Hollywood Boulevard's Walk of Fame? Mm. Joel and I both have answers for that. Uh, I have a guess on yeah, that one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Tom Yum is a type of hot and sour soup that originated in which country? Mm. Tom Yum. I'm going to... Well, I, right. I, yeah, I got a funny what we're answer doing today? to Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what are the only two countries in South America that do not border Brazil? Only two countries in South America that don't border Brazil, mm. uh, and I'm not good with my South American geography, okay. so that's up in the air. Okay, All so, right, so uh, let's do a quick review here. Yep. What 97 action film stars Cage, Cusack, and Malkovich? According to Nora's mythology, who's the god of thunder? Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and Arizona meet at what U.S. landmark? Who plays the role of Frank Reynolds in comedy series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Who was the first cartoon character to get his own star on Hollywood Boulevard? Tom Yum is a type of, of hot and sour soup that originated in what country? And what are the only two countries in South America that do not border Brazil? Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So let's Think get about on to that. Our, yep. our trivia here. Uh, let's see. We're going to... Um, uh, we're going to check out some Super yeah, Bowl memories and Super thoughts. Super Bowl memories. Uh, okay. We got a couple of clips from uh, years gone by, don't we? So, um, 
y'all know that there's a game tomorrow. And Eagles aren't going to be there. And Eagles are not going to be in that game. However, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yeah, and it's just really not the same without no, it. No, okay? it isn't. So it really we thought isn't. that we'd bring up, uh, let's see, uh, one of our poll questions is, uh, should the Saints be in there? So I'm interested to see what everybody's replying. Uh, ooh, we got some responses there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, well, okay. The, uh, let's see, so we have the Saints game from two weeks ago. We have that little incident. Uh, the other one that we have is the Atlanta Falcons filled up the Eagles game from last year, and I put that in there just as some okay. food for thought. Yeah. And then we have the what play? Uh, the uh, Philly special? Are the we going to see the Philly special? We're going to see the Philly special again Philly today. Philly. Yeah. All oh, right. So let's know. let's take a look and take a walk down memory lane here, folks. Okay. So this is um, this is last week's um, play, or two weeks ago. That was very questionable. And I have to say, if I was a Saints fan, I would be very upset, very irritated yeah, as yeah. well. All right. Let's have a let's hear uh, let's have a look at this one, folks, and see what happened here. That's what he's talking about. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. Bam. Oh, my gosh. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Man, huh? where is the flag? Where is really, the flag? Where are these guys? Can you believe that Where's was not called? Huh? Can you believe that was not called? Unbelievable. All right. So, did they show it again here? Yeah, that guy's like, throw the flag. Let's see if we can see that one again. Here we go. It's coming. Right there. Uh, sorry. There you go. Now, wrong one. Okay, let's move on. Okay. I can't find it. Okay. So, now this is last year's Eagles game, okay, against the Falcons. Now, I put this in here. What would have happened if this ball was intercepted? Here. The Eagles are losing or behind 10 to 6 at this point. What would have happened if this guy, who I don't know why he didn't catch this ball, or how he could have missed it? You're right. <laughs> um, miss, you know, he misses the ball. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The oh my gosh! Unbelievable. How did that happen? Yeah, he was a little showboatish, wasn't he? I think there? he was showboating there. Yeah. Okay. But that's just me, okay? Wow. All right. So Could have my, turned the course of uh, my, my course point of here. My point here is uh, a one little play here or that way in both of those games could have changed the outcome of the game. Yes. Okay. Who who's to say that the Saints would have won their the game? Year. Yeah. Uh, yep. Right. So mm -hmm. you know, these things happen. All right. And then here we go. Here we go. The Philly special, right? Okay. All right. Let's explode let's this it. so everybody can see it. All right. Here we go. This is like going for the onside kick against Peyton Manning because you don't want him to get the ball too many times. You don't think you can hold him out. Here we go. This could decide the game. Fourth and goal. Wide open. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Wide open. Ah. Wide open. Boy, it never gets old, does it? Never gets never old. Never gets old. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. You know what's interesting, though, uh, is... Um, just never gets old. I I was looking at some of the comments below that particular video, and people were saying there was an illegal formation. And I hadn't heard that at all. People were saying that they were lined up, in, you know, it wasn't legal, okay. this, that, and the other. I, huh. I didn't hear anything about yeah. that until I read that just last night. Huh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, so, um, well. so enjoy yeah. Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. The Eagles are not there. Yeah. Uh, may the best team win. And let's just make sure it's not New England. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, I mean, That's enough's right. enough, all right? Because uh, if they win this year, next year we're going to get them. We're going to get we're gonna get somebody next year. Yes. And That's no matter right. what you do tomorrow, just eat a lot of good food. You know, yeah, wings, have, have a couple of beers, have fun, hang out yeah. with the family. So, uh, okay, uh, what do you think we... Uh, uh, Shall we go to the facts now? Let's go back to okay. the facts. So let's get back. Let's go to our facts, and then we'll get to our trivia answers. Yes. We'll do a birthday minute, and then we're going to get out of here. Okay, yeah. Okay? All right, so back to uh, the... Whoops, sorry about that, folks. Let's go here. Um, all right. You didn't even read through these, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. This <laughs> okay. is going to be new for me. Saddam Hussein uh, told guards he once burned hundreds of his son Uday's luxury cars as punishment for killing several people at a nightclub. 
Well, you know, at least, uh, so, you know, everybody says bad stuff about Asana, but, you know, he was trying to teach his son a lesson. That's right. And that's, Disappointing. It's good parenting. Good discipline. Good parenting. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Well, and that's something. Uh, it's estimated that a thousand additional deaths occur in the months following 9 11 because Americans choose to travel by car instead of by plane. Yeah. Ah, okay. interesting. Yeah, so, that's, yeah. Yeah, very sad. Very sad. Well, that's something. Yeah. An elephant skin can be up to one inch thick. But it's so sensitive, it can feel a fly landing on it. Wow. Who would have thought? Well, I'm glad I'm not that sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> the Icelandic... The Icelandic for sleep... What? The Icelandic... Word? Or, I mean, I just guess. doesn't sound right. The Icelandic, Icelandic for sleep is sofa. Okay. Huh, no kidding. All right. In 2005, a psychologist and an econon economist... Sorry taught a group of monkeys the concept of money. Soon, the monkeys engaged in prostitution. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that, ladies and gentlemen, where is it, where is it? Uh, where's the big uh, clapping and uh, applause? Something like that. That is great. Is that, that crazy? Is, uh... <laughs> okay. Today's average American woman weighs as much as the average 1960s man. Wow, no kidding. No comment. Let's move on. <laughs> if you deprive a fruit fly or a fish of sleep, it will try to catch up the next day. Interesting, huh? Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'm part fruit fly. A human eye can detect a candle flame 1.7 miles away. Wow. I'm guessing Goodness. if you have your glasses on and your, yeah. your eyesight's and, up. And you're much, actually right? looking for some. I mean, yeah, right. who looks a, for a candle? And who, who has that much distance out of their, you know, oh, at any good. time? All right, a couple more here. Uh, ninth. 1859, Daredevil Charles Blondin. Bra uh, yeah, Blondin walked across Niagara Falls on stilts. Wow. Is that crazy? Wow. Can you imagine doing walked it? Because that water is coming over those falls. Yeah. Wow. Crazy Holy cow. Just crazy. Judges are more lenient after lunch. A study found. Huh. Yeah. So if anything ever happens, just make sure you yeah, have Can I lunch. get my appointment after lunch? Yeah. <laughs> All right. A couple more here. 80% of what we learn is through our eyes. Yeah. Now, per but not the eye in the middle. Because that eye is closed. <laughs> right. 80%? Well, no kidding. All right. When the, when the ex-UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher died, the song Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, reached number two in the oh, UK charts. Wow. Oh, that That's is sad. That's the Iron right. Lady. Black Sabbath, the heavy metal band, was originally called Polka, Polka Talk Blues Band. Wow. I'm glad they changed it. I think they changed their genre. Yeah. They something. wouldn't have been uh, eating here? All right, That's it, that, folks. Uh, very good. Very good. That is it. All right, so back to, uh, oh, you know what? Let's just go right back to our trivia answers here, yeah. okay? Yeah, let's do that. All right, yeah. so what do we got? We have some answers down there, Keith? Yeah, we do have some answers. Let me put my glasses back on. I don't know why I can't find my glasses ever. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see. Uh... All right, Dan chimed in. Uh, Saints lost last year to Vikings on a missed tackle. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you're right. Two years, I remember that. Do you remember the Saints no. and uh, Vikings game last year mm -hmm. where uh, – it was, it was almost a Hail Mary pass by the Vikings. We had like a couple seconds left in the game. All they had to do was tackle this guy. And Saints, the, I don't know what he was thinking, but he missed this tackle like I, that I could have made. Wow. And the guy ran it in, and that was it. I agree that with was, you. That was. Okay. Well, you know. Okay. Okay, so okay, moving on so here. Go Rams. Okay, so let's see. Uh, which 1997 action thriller film stars Nicolas Cage, John, Mal John Cusack, and John Malkovich? Oh, yeah, Joey's got Con Air. Uh, let's see what we have here. Very good, yeah. Joe. Very Con good. Air. Yep, I think yeah. a few got that one. Yeah, good yep, job. yep. All uh, right. According to North mytholo Norse mythology, who is the god of thunder? And I saw that. Uh, Daniel says Thor. Thor. All right, see what we have, Dan. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, our, our audience is, is on. Yeah. Okay, good job. Spot on this morning. Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona meet at what U.S. landmark? Did uh, I get that one? Uh, Daniel says Four Corners. Yeah. Wow, Four Corners nice. Monument. Very good. Yeah. It's on fire. Didn't, good I, job, Dan. I didn't even know that existed. Uh, Isn't there Four Corners like all over the... There's got to be Four Corners everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everybody. right, somewhere. Who plays the role of Frank Reynolds in the comedy series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? And I can't believe nobody has that. Oh Nobody watches right. it. Danny DeVito. Yeah, oh, all right, Brother Keith, man. Yeah. Nice. All right. 
He was the first cartoon character to get his own star on Hollywood Boulevard's Walk of Fame. And I said Mickey Mouse, Joel. And what did you say? I said Bugs Bunny. Okay. And it does say his own, so I'm assuming it is it's a he be, right. character. Yep. Let's see. Ha oh, ho! Yeah! Oh Good no, job. he did! Shut up! Oh no, he did! Nice job, brother. <laughs> nice. Wow, okay. Okay. 1978. Tom Yum is a type of hot and sour soup that originated in which country? Well, I'm going to say regular hot and sour is Chinese. So, uh, Tom Yum. Uh, uh, Anybody have this one? Uh, Jap Japanese. I'm going to say Japanese. Okay, here we go. And survey says Thailand. Oh, Thailand. All right. I was trying to think. That makes All sense. Right. Yeah. Yep. All right. What are the only two countries in South America that do not border Brazil? I've got go Rams. I don't think that's the answer for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, Chile, Chile and Ecuador. And Ecuador. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And did we do this one? We did that one last week. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. All that's right. It. Thanks. Okay, very good. good. Yeah. For, very uh, good. Yep. For playing along here. Appreciate that. Okay. I yeah, there's some good that. questions. We got some good answers too. Thanks. I guys. think that perhaps. Uh, we are to the oh, birthday minute. Oh yeah, are we, we are. to the birthday minute? Yeah, I think okay, we are. so we have to get ourselves not... ready to celebrate birthdays here. This, this might take a little while, so uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get, cue the music. Yeah, uh, yeah, music here. Birthday minute. Birthday minute intro. And that's Oops. Time now. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little. We, we start. I mean, Usually we, that yeah, comes. We're, we're not really cute. Oh there, my yeah. goodness sakes! Ah, oh, well, goodness. birthdays, 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 and I gotta tell you, this is a uh, coming of age day for me. Uh, if you were in the '70s and you didn't have a poster of this gal in your bedroom, you were, there was something wrong with you. Farrah Fawcett, everybody's favorite angel. Born this day in 1947. 1947. Not with us yeah. anymore, but... Uh, no, and she died, uh, what, a day? Two days before Michael Jackson? Is really? Is that true? Wow. I'm pretty sure. Somebody let us wow, know. I'm okay. pretty sure wow, that's no how that kidding. sequence happened. Wow. It was uh, uh, bam, bam, yeah. Well, no kidding. Uh, Graham Nash, born this day in 1942. Graham Nash was uh, in the Hollies, and he was also more popular in this country with Crosby, Stills, and Nash, a uh, uh, folk, uh, you know, hippie band from the day. Uh, Tom Smothers, remember the Smothers Brothers? I do remember. He them, was yeah. the sillier. Uh, I guess he was a little bit older. I always looked a little bit right. older. Born this day, in 1937. Uh, James Joyce, Irish novelist, born this day in 1882. Yeah. So that's our uh, that's our uh, celebrities. And what do we got closer to home? Well, a little bit closer to home today. We have. I got my calendar up here. Almost. And oh God. Yes, on, born on Groundhog's Day. On Groundhog's Day today. Okay, so starting today, we got a little rhythm going over there, Keith. Today, happy birthday. We say happy birthday to David and Carl. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, guys. All right. And then we have tomorrow, Sunday the 3rd, we have Denise, Josette, Stacy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tomorrow, Monday, February the 4th, we come in with Eric and JJ. Happy birthday on Monday, guys. Happy birthday on Tuesday, which happens to be the Lunar New Year, oh, to okay. Ray, Tamara, and Tony. Happy Yay, birthday, happy birthday, guys. guys. Woohoo! Hope you have a great day. And on Wednesday the 6th, happy birthday to Suzanne. Yeah, happy birthday. Have that all to yourself on Wednesday there, Suzanne. Thursday the 7th, uh, February 7th, we have Peggy. Yay, happy birthday, Peggy, on happy the 7th. Happy birthday, Peggy. Yeah. On Friday the 8th, ah, we have... Ah, to get busy. Sorry yeah. to get busy. Ashley, Mark, Terry, and Kelly. Happy birthday, Friday Happy the 8th. Birthday. Happy birthday. And one week from today, boy, we have a full slate. Wow, check it yeah, out. Yeah, we have Ananya, Eric, Jane, Karen, Kristen, and Tim. So happy birthday next Saturday the 9th to all those folks. And everybody having a birthday this week, we wish you a happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. All right, so let's get out of the birthday minute, and here we go. All right, 
Phew. It's kind of like a marathon, wasn't it? It is kind of like a marathon. a marathon to me. So anyway, yeah. well, thanks, thanks for, for stopping. Yeah, you know, I wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to mention uh, one of our listeners who's normally on Jim. Um, he's um, been a little sick this week, so okay. uh, I, I see that he's not on. Uh, he may not even be up for uh, okay. watching. Okay. All right, so well, we just want to say yeah, uh, our thoughts go out. I hope yep. you feel better soon, yep. Jim. Hope you feel yep. uh, better, Jim. Yeah. So um, yeah, so great show today. Yep. Sorry, a little bit of rough start. I still don't have any. Vo- uh, any uh, audio coming through that my phone. Is, that is something. So um, I'm hoping it looks like everybody else could hear us because we did not get any complaints. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so that's why okay. we're a little befuddled getting started today. We've always got some kind of befuddling There's going always on something in the morning, here in but, uh, and you Jim. know we don't quite have our coffee going, this and that, and you know whatever. But thank you very much for stopping by. Are we going to be by next week, Joel? Yeah, I think we will be here next okay. week. Maybe we'll do a Super Bowl recap. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll see where we are with our yeah, uh, everybody was really game. Type yes. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and enjoy we'll the game. Be on. safe. Uh, let's get the so, exit yeah, let's music get going, going here. And remember, uh, outro. outro yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. I, I uh, guess that's thanks it. for stopping by. Yeah, watch yourselves. It's still very cold out there. Yep. It's supposed to get warmer later in the week. But uh, anyway, have a great week. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So, laugh, live, learn. No, live. Learn, laugh, live, and live. Yeah. And we will see you next week. Be in touch, yes, folks. Be in touch. Thanks see for stopping by.